Hi, I'm Michael Katz with AMD's Radeon Technologies Group. We're here at NAB 2019. I've been showing this amazing wireless VR capability and I'd like to share it with you. We've set up this configuration with a, uh, an 802.11 AC router, 5 gigahertz standard uh, router that you would typically find in, in any home or business. And we're using a new iteration of the HTC Vive headset, the HTC Vive Focus Plus. This is a fully mobile, self-contained headset it, uh, with its own ecosystem of applications in it. Um, what's unique about the HTC Vive Focus Plus is that it introduces six degree of freedom controllers. So these controllers with this headset fully emulate the, the wired HTC Vive headset that typically requires uh, lighthouses for tracking the position of the headset and the controllers. So with this new headset, I have the ability to um, do inside out tracking, no, no lighthouses, um, totally self-contained, and in this case, the rendering, we put an app on the headset, the rendering of the VR experience takes place on the graphics card and is streamed over the Wi-Fi into the headset as, a, as an intelligent receiver of a high quality, fully wireless, untethered VR experience. The, uh, the Radeon Relive Pro for VR capability is in our Radeon Pro driver and so it's just a matter of going into the Relive section of the driver, turning on the capability and you're set on the, on the, the workstation side to, to activate the capability. And then on the headset, depending on which headset you're using, um, you go to the App Store for your headset. Here we have the Radeon Relive app for uh, the Google Play Store, which works with uh, Daydream and similar devices like that. And here is the Viveport Store. Uh, the, the app is available in the Viveport Store for the HTC Vive Focus Plus. So you actually have to, because this is a self-contained unit, you need to go into the headset and install the app from the, he the, the store inside of the headset in order to turn on this capability. So one of the best ways to showcase the, the, the quality of this experience and the low latency that we enable through Radeon Relive Pro for VR is in a game. So we'll just go ahead and duck here into raw data. This is a VR game and um, uh, it's very easy to see why the wireless capability enhances the experience so much. So starting in here, I've got these robots, I've got, a I've got the, my guns. Okay, now in this next level, they're going to start shooting at me, so I have the ability to duck. Being wireless is a whole different experience. Let's see if he shoots at me. Yep, there we go. Missed that bullet. Whoa. Another application that we see a lot of potential with the wireless VR is in design and manufacturing where you have very large data sets. Now you can obviously teleport around this scene uh, for a design review. Uh, we, can, we can interact with the different parts. Uh, we can make things uh, oops. we can make things invisible and, and uh, x-ray mode. Let's apply the x-ray. Um, but in, in, in a larger design where I have a wide open space, it may be helpful to go ahead and walk along in a, in a larger space. So I'm grabbing my light and I can uh, inspect all along and underneath without having to worry about that wire, the, t the wired uh, headset holding me back. So a very useful application I'd like to thank our friends at Septimatech for providing this data set. So another application we think has uh, pretty interesting implications, especially here at NAB, 
is the ability to use wireless VR uh, for uh, previs in a virtual production environment. So we have created a, um, a pretty uh, complex, detailed scene in Unreal Engine. Uh, and this white panel here represents my virtual camera inside of the scene. So once I put on the headset, I'm going to reach out and grip my, my camera, my virtual camera, and now I can teleport around the scene, but I can also walk all around the scene as far as my Wi-Fi signal will allow me to go. So this could be as big as a baseball, or a, I mean a, a basketball stadium. So I'll just teleport up here. Look at my camera. I can adjust the zoom settings on my camera. Do my camera work. Walk around. Teleport. And it's obvious here that I am no cinematographer. But you get the idea. We've captured this previs environment. We can go ahead and send this to an offline renderer. Um, the the software has been keeping track of the position of my virtual camera based on the tra the inside out tracking. Again, no lighthouses, no wires, uh, but because of tracking the position of my controller that that represents my virtual camera, um, it becomes the guide for the offline rendering process.